Well, thank you for joining us. We are going to be in Romans 8, 26, and it reads, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, in our hope, in our movement of hope, in our week of looking at hope, and how hope factors into our daily lives. We have to come to terms with the, uh, with the weaknesses that we have and the weaknesses we face and the weaknesses that plague us sometimes. The weaknesses that, that we wish we could get away from, but they always seem to be close. Knowing that the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. It doesn't leave us there. It helps us. It moves us closer to the Lord. It doesn't leave us there. It moves us closer to where we should be. The Spirit helps us in our weaknesses to see the light of Christ, to see his love, to feel his joy, to know that he is righteous, to know that even in our weakness that his power, his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. So let us not be giving our weaknesses too much. Let's give them over to the Lord. Let's persevere. Let's hope. Let's move forward. And during this Advent season, let's move closer to the Lord in hope. Thank you for joining us. We're going to see you next time.